This is the world's first and only Magic for All store in Shanghai, a collaboration between clothing giant Uniqlo and Disney. Wow, wonderful world color. And Japan's richest man, Tadashi Yanai, is behind it. Despite the crashing stocks and rocky economy, which has spooked global investors, he plans to open 100 more stores this year in Greater China to add to 380 already doing business. I have absolutely no concern whatsoever about the economic situation, even with a downturn or upturn of the economy. Clothing is what everyone needs. No one is walking naked on this street. China is a more life and consumer-centric market because increasing numbers of people will be joining the middle class. There are fears the economic slowdown in China will have an impact on consumer spending. Luxury goods are already feeling the pinch. As manufacturing and exports decline, it's the Chinese shopper the country is depending on for economic growth. The last quarter of this year, I'll be saving the money, OK? <laughs> a little bit of saving the money, but maybe in the future, next, the first quarter of the next year, I'll be watching. Maybe I will spend some of the money. For me, not really. I mean, the life here is still the same. I mean, it doesn't have a big impact at all. I'm concerned. I feel the economy is bad now, so I'll spend less money. For instance, I'll be dining out less. Uniqlo has been slow to move from the shop floor to online sales. But Tadashi Yanai says he aspires to be one of the most digitally advanced companies in the world within three years. China's rapidly changing economy means companies have to adapt their strategies to ensure the footfall continues through their doors, like this Disney Uniqlo project. Some people might say this is just a gimmick. Well, some dubious people may look at it as just a gimmick, but look at the product. Look into the quality. Tadashi Yanai says the economic slowdown means people still spend, but are more discerning on where and how they spend. They want better value for money as people develop a good eye for a good buy. International brands like his continue to come to China to tap into the huge volume of potential customers. Even the slowing down market here outpaces many others in Europe and the US. Simon Mawson, CNN, Shanghai.